if I had the story right, there's a, a lady who was on a trip to Central America with her husband, who is a scuba diving instructor, or something to do with scuba diving. Anyway, they're in Central America, and she has to fly back, so she boards a Delta flight with her carry-on suitcase, and uh, her flight lands in Atlanta. She leaves the airport. She goes home, and this was uh, apparently a few minutes ago. She puts her suitcase on the table and begins to unpack, and she unzips her suitcase. <laughs> There's something in her suitcase she doesn't like. She slams the suitcase shut and goes to call 911, but she can't because her cell phone is in the suitcase. And from what she just saw in her suitcase, she's not going to open it back up. So apparently she gets on her iPad and starts messaging people on Facebook to call 911. And they got in touch with us and said, can you go to this house and help this lady out? So right now I'm driving... It's, uh, it's, it's around about midnight, and we're going to go and uh, see if we can help this lady unpack her suitcase from the flight she just got off of from, uh, from Central America. So this should be interesting to see what we actually, what we actually end up with here. Your wife sent a picture of um, of Charlotte. Is yeah, that her name? Yeah, that's one of our and I'm like, you know what? Well, that's all great. Department is in? He's um, he's in this big part, and then when I opened it, he was over here in one of these corners. Um, I think he was in maybe that corner. Yeah, we were. She called me in an absolute panic. Oh, he's been hidden again, hasn't he? There he is. Oh. That is a Honduran curly haired tarantula. I was right. I was right. He's a he's a curly haired tarantula. Uh no, I'm good. That's him. That that's as close as I want to be. <laughs> it's okay, Jessica. It's okay, it's Jessica. Right, so we're gonna get him in this little jar right here. That's fine. Let me get him. Let me let it roll off the table there. Yeah, they said something on the internet. They're easily guided. I said, well, I'm not going to be guiding him anywhere. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be guiding right. him out my he's, front door. Uh, he's caught. All right. Let me go get my... You're probably wondering why I decided to just pick the spider up with my hand. A spider I didn't know really much about. Because I've never met this spider. We've never, you know, been introduced before. But, you know... When it comes to animal species, if you know the specific species, that'll tell you a lot about that specific species temperament. And some tarantulas, I wouldn't pick up with my hands. <laughs> uh, that's not gonna happen. Uh, because they'll pretty much just bite you for picking them up. But not all spiders are that way. Not all tarantulas are that way. And I've dealt with Honduran curly hair tarantulas before. And I knew that this species, whether kept in captivity or caught in the wild, is a pretty docile spider. So, could the spider have bit my hand? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, it could have. I mean, it's got venom, it's got fangs. It would have hurt, wouldn't have felt good. Uh, probably made for a good video. <laughs> but uh, I don't want that to happen. But I knew that that was a very slim chance in, that, in it doing that. Plus, you know, uh, a lot of the times before you get bit by a spider, not all the times, but sometimes they'll kind of give you a little bit of a warning. They'll raise those front legs up and hold them up really high. And that's kind of your warning to say, hey, you know, I'm upset. You put me down. Uh, you shouldn't be holding me like you are. Uh, but uh, fortunately, this was a species that I knew pretty well and was able to just reach in and pick him up out of the suitcase, which kind of made me look really cool. <laughs> but uh, spiders have a really bad reputation. 
Uh, so many people have arachnophobia. They're terrified of spiders. And, uh, you know, some of that is just uh, it's a creepy, crawly type of creature. Uh, but a lot of that comes from lack of knowledge. People think that spiders and snakes sit around hoping to get a chance to attack somebody. And that's not the case. When you're gentle with them and just kind of leave them alone, they'll usually do the same thing with you. I don't recommend going around picking up spiders uh, because, you know, it doesn't always go as smooth as it did tonight. But don't look at them as an animal or a creature that just needs to be destroyed simply because of what it is.